So this is a standard roundabout, uh, which you will find in our road structure. Almost all roundabouts uh, will have four entries and four exits. Some may have got uh, three entries and three exits. Uh, but most roundabouts you'll encounter when you're driving on the Kenyan roads will have uh, uh, four entries and four exits. When you're looking at a roundabout, you look at it as if it's a, a wall clock. And this is something that is very important and it will be able to uh, guide you uh, when you are navigating roundabouts. When you look at a wall clock, it has got uh, 6 p.m. and it has got 12 it has got 12 p.m. Yeah? So that is a standard wall clock that every time you enter in a roundabout, uh, you enter through the 6 p.m. position and either exit before 12 p.m., which is on your left, and after 12 p.m., which means you have to navigate uh, to your right. So it is very important uh, for you to grasp that concept uh, within uh, within the model of uh, a roundabout. Also, the second thing, uh, you have got four exits to leave a roundabout. Assuming you are entering the roundabout from these positions, your, your first exit is your first left, which is the first exit. That is your, on your left, that is your first exit. Your second exit which is here, this is straight on. Always remember, straight on will be your second exit. Your third exit will be one right turn and one left turn, and that one will be your third exit. And finally, your fourth exit will be a U-turn. So, the fourth exit means you are going back to the direction uh, you came from, and that is the fourth exit. So it's very important for you to grasp, to grasp that concept. That when you are approaching a roundabout from one direction, the first left is your first exit. The second exit is your driving straight. The third exit is your right and then left. And that will be your third exit. And the fourth exit is your U-turn. To return to the direction you came from so those are the four ways in which you can exit a roundabout as per the ntsa kenya learners driver handbook these are the directions on a fallen road when approaching a roundabout so lane number one has got two options which are stay on lane one and go straight ahead at zero degrees and that is your second exit the second option for lane number one is turn left at 90 degrees and that will take you to the second exit. Lane number two has one option only, and that is go straight only at zero degrees and you're exiting at your second exit. Lane number three has two options. Option number one for lane number three is stay on lane number three and go straight, which will exit you at the second exit. Lane number three also has the second option, which is turn right at 90 degrees which will exit you at exit number three. Lane number four has got four options. Option number one, turn right at 90 degrees, which will take you at the third exit of the roundabout. Option number two is come back at 180 degrees, which is a U-turn, and this will exit you at the fourth exit. Option number three for lane number four, is turn left at 270 degrees and this will exit you on exit number one the final option for lane number four is go straight and this means you have to do a 360 degrees and that is going round uh, the roundabout and then exiting at the second exit those are the full roundabout maneuver as per a four lane road joining 
a roundabout or approaching a roundabout. Please refer to the NTSA driver's learner handbook for more directions on how to maneuver a roundabout. And this will be from pages 80, 81 and 82. You can get a free copy by uh, sending your email or WhatsApp number to the contact provided at the description of this video. Thank you for watching.